I'm excited to talk about this beautiful paint color by Sherwin Williams called White Snow. You can only find White Snow in the Emerald Designer Edition. And basically, that's the high-end paint brand of Sherwin Williams. Now, there are three things that I want you to know about White Snow. The first thing is, is the undertones. I'm gonna show the undertones of White Snow. And number two, I'm gonna talk about where does White Snow sit in the world of warm off whites and why this matters. And number three, I'm gonna talk about why I would never recommend white snow based on LRVs. And for those of you that are new to this channel, I would love to have you here. Feel free to subscribe. I educate you about the worlds of undertones. Feel free to check out the link that's right down below. It's in the description section. It's gonna take you directly to my blog watch, learn, and then decide which paint colors could be the right one for your home. So the first thing I want you to know about Sherwin-Williams White Snow is the undertone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare White Snow with two other paint colors because I wanna help you see the undertone of White Snow. So watch this. When I compare this with Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace, which is considered a true white, in other words, it's not a cool off white, it's not a warm off white, it sits right in the middle, watch what happens. When you compare Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace with Sharon Williams White Snow, you're gonna instantly see the warmth of white snow. You're gonna see a little bit of that yellow. But let's do a different paint color to help give you an, a better idea of what white snow really looks like. Watch what happens when I compare it with Ceiling Bright White by Sharon Williams, which is considered a cool off white with a blue undertone. Watch this. When you compare Sharon Williams White Snow with Ceiling Bright White, you instantly see just how warm Sharon Williams White Snow is. So, it's a warm off white. You get a little bit of that yellow. That's what makes it a warm off white. Next, I'm gonna talk about where does white snow sit in the world of warm off whites and why this matters. Now I want you to know where white snow sits in the world of warm off whites. And the best way I can explain it is by comparing it with other paint colors. So I'm gonna bring up a paint color that I just showed you earlier. It's called Chantelet Lace. Remember, it's a true off white. It's not warm, it's not cool. And just refresh your memory. Watch what happens when I compare it. Sharon Williams with Chantelet Lace. You see the warmth of Sharon Williams White Snow. It's warmer than a true off white. Okay, so we know that it's warmer than a true off white. Let's compare it with another paint color called Benjamin Moore Simply White. Now, Simply White is a warm off white. Watch what happens. When you compare Sharon Williams White Snow with Benjamin Moore Simply White, you're gonna instantly see how Sharon Williams White Snow is lighter than Simply White, and Simply White is warmer than Sharon Williams White Snow. And one other thing, they're both clean paint colors in comparison to one another. That's really important what I just said right there, that word clean. Just hold on for that word for a moment because I'm about to explain that. But what I want you to know is, is that Sherwin Williams White Snow sits in between Chantelet Lace and Simply White. So basically, it's a light and bright paint color. Now, I'm gonna compare it with two other warm off whites and I wanna show you something. Watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore White Dove, which is considered a warm off white. You're gonna instantly see that again, when I pair Sharon Williams White Snow with Benjamin Moore White Dove, it's lighter than White Dove. White Dove is warmer than Sharon Williams White Snow, but it's muted. That's a very key word right there, muted. But let me show you just one more warm off white, just so that you can see the contrast. I'm gonna compare it with Benjamin Moore Cloud White. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Cloud White, again, you're gonna see how Sharon Williams White Snow is lighter than Benjamin Moore Cloud White. Benjamin Moore Cloud White is warmer than Sharon Williams White Snow. 
and is muted in comparison to Sherwin Williams' White Snow. Why is that so important? Well, the reason why this is important is I always say that you should compare your paint colors in this example, white snow with your fixed elements that you have in your home. If you have, for example, a creamy kitchen countertop, maybe you have some taupe, some creams or beiges, and you wanted to paint your kitchen cabinets, sure ones white snow, well, it's clean. And if you compare this clean, warm off white with that muted fixed elements, it's gonna make that muted fixed elements stand out. It's gonna look dirtier and earthier, and it's gonna make Sean Williams White Snow look dingy, stark. That's not what you want. That's why it's so important to compare Sean Williams White Snow with your fixed elements and your interior decor. But if you want to skip this entire process, and if you're tired of trying all these different paint samples, and you just want to get it right the first time, then check out the link that's right down below in the description section, and I can help you find the perfect interior or exterior paint color without ever stepping a foot in your home. And feel free to read the reviews. I have over 400 reviews. See what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm gonna talk about why I would never recommend Sherwin-Williams White Snow based on LRVs. For those of you that have been following me for a while know that I never talk about LRVs because they're misleading. I have never recommended interior or exterior paint colors to any of my clients based on LRVs. And that's including Sharon Williams White Snow. Yes, it has a high LRV, but it doesn't mean it's gonna make your space feel lighter and brighter because let's just say, there's so many examples, but I'm just gonna give you one example. Let's just say that you have a space and you don't receive a lot of natural lighting. And it doesn't matter if it's south or north. And if you were to paint white snow in there, it's gonna look dingy, it's gonna look dirty. Instead, if you wanna go light, you go warmer. What's really important is, is you need to identify if Sherwin Williams white snow, is it gonna be warm or is it gonna be cool in your space? Is it going to be dirty or is it gonna be clean? And the list goes on. You've got to compare this with your fixed elements and your interior decor and be mindful of the type of lighting that you may receive in your home. I would love to hear comments from all of you. If you have any experiences with warm off whites, let me know in the comments section down below. Or if you have any questions about Sherwin Williams White Snow, I would love to hear it. Until then, I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to put a like on the video if you found this video helpful to you.